hatred capitalized. Yeah, now you've been pretty good with predictions so far. Again, I'm not putting you on blast, but I think the <laughs> other day you did think the USA Toasters, love that name, uh, were going to take uh, the series. I can't remember who they were playing. It was Judge and Jury or something like that. Yeah. I always yeah. thought it was Judge Judge Judy, but obviously not the case. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there we go. Crump able to connect this time. Let's jump on board with Miyagi because he is going to be our man to watch at the start of this game. Make sure everybody's connected into the game. Crump actually not alive at the second. Hopefully he can start. But there we go. We're going to jump on board with Miyagi as we say using this MA. Already some assault rifle kills coming in and Silent managing to pick up the first few seconds there. But they make a really good push there from the uh, uh, sorry from the hatred team. And the hardpoint contested now. As I always say on this map and on you know most hardpoint maps, it's really difficult to get a lot of time on this first hardpoint. B23Rs are going to come in big here, I think, especially for those assault rifle players. But you know, I th I, it's a difficult one because I don't know if I can really tell what the whole hardpoint game is going to be like just from this first hill. Exactly. And um, now I'm just looking at the mini map here, and it looks like Raiders actually pushed way back at the top of basketball stairs. It's an interesting play, but it's a smart play on his part because. What it's doing is it's holding those good spawns for his team as they start rotating this basketball hard point. And unfortunately, he wasn't able to do it because Miyagi has spawned all the way back at Garage. So they're now going to have to make a big, long push. And as the Silent Squad gets the last few seconds on the ring hard point, and they've already started setting up the kitchen. But Miyagi makes a nice play there with the M8. And unfortunately, he gets taken out in front kitchen. And you're going to see Leg it legit just start racking up points for his team again. Yep, yeah, I'm actually on board with Caddy right now, who's already got that lightning strike and that hellstorm missile. He does get taken out. Let's switch over to Legit because he's got full strings already. Score Street's going to come in big right now. He's rocking the AN94, my favorite gun. Picks up a nice kill there. Two piece actually on Raider and Torture. And Silent are starting to take the lead. He's got those full streaks, and as we always say, they could come in big. Score currently 38 to 27. Score still rising for that Hatred team, although they do manage to push in here, the Silent team, and take control. Cali getting a two-piece there, and this is just back and forward play. Only eight seconds in it, but, you know, as I say, those score streaks are kind of going big, and especially that sentry gun. If they can place that sentry gun down in the right place, and with, obviously, trophy systems around it, this could control, potentially, this next garage hardpoint for a while. Now, would you be putting it down here if, if you were in this situation? Yeah, definitely. The garage hard point is something that's come up time and time again. It's a great place where you, if you can control it, you can get a full 67 seconds pretty easily on this hard point. And that sentry would really come in handy. Now what I'd like to see is for um, Yagi and I think it was Callie that had that sentry um, to work together. Uh, and you know, it looks like Callie doesn't have that sentry anymore. Um, but you definitely want to put the trophies down before you get set up with that sentry because the last thing you want is for one straight EMP to take out your sentry and potentially wreck your chance of getting that 60 on the hard point. Yep, let's jump on board with so many different, see what's going on. Let's jump on board with Crump actually, because he's the man of the hour, uh, obviously not able to join at the start. He's going to be using a smoke grenade, not actually able to pick up anybody. He does get taken out there by Miyagi, our man, and he's going to start rotating here. Gets a really nice spawn on this next hard point. And having a look at that minimap, they're starting to set up here and letting it, looks like Caddy get up the, get the last few seconds on that garage hard point. And the Hatred team are taking a slight, about a 10 point lead on this hard point game on raid. But there we go. You know, they're going to come and you know, manage to get control of this hard point. It's already being contested though. Miyagi coming in big there, getting a kill. And, you know, look at that scoreboard at the side. Cali on a four kill streak starting to call in his uh, lightning strike. No, that, sorry, that was a hellstorm miss. I do apologize. But, you know, I think they started to make a good push here at the second. The silent team are still spawning in that back jungle area, which is obviously what they need to do and what they want to be doing as Cali picks up another Hellstorm missile, but I feel this push by Hatred is actually, you know, pretty good so far, and you know they're right in with the game with only about three seconds in it. Yeah, and you know I'm just looking at the scoreboard here. It's not Miyagi that's stepping up like we predicted, but it's Cali. Cali's already hitting. He's already 20 and 12, and he has eight defense, and so he's doing great work um, in the hard point, and he's playing that OBJ role beautifully. So he's doing some good work with that MSMC, even with the recoil um, adjustment from the most recent patches. And it looks like he's going to be rotating. He tried to rotate up to the next hard point, which is too bad. I'll uh, be going to see him call in his lightning strike here. Now let's see if he gets any kills from this. He, get any? he gets one. So at least if he, he was able to check and see where the other teams were, or where the other players were on the other team, sorry. And uh, essentially it acts as the ping, but at the same time he still gets to kill at least. Oh, Good he just picked up the most 
crazy turn on Crump then. I think Crump had first shots on him and he just jumped in the air and yeah. absolutely owned him. That was great play by him. We do see Magic there. He was on a four kill streak. He does get taken out, but we're still on board with Cali right now. Giving him some lug as he's going. Lug? Love, sorry. As he's going off. And there we go. The Hatred team managing to take control of this hard point for a bit. It is contested at the second note. Back and forward gameplay. Really close. Only about 15 seconds or so thereabouts left in this. And we are halfway through the game in time. Only five minutes left on the clock. Let's jump on board with something different. Let's see, give Magic some love because he's going to be using this M8. Now, look at this. Really interesting. I want to try and see what attachments he's got on it when possible because he's not actually running a reflex sight on this M8. Something that I don't see too often. He does get killed there by Miyagi also using that M8. Now, what do you think about not using a sight on this? Because personally, I don't really like the iron sights on the M8. But he obviously seems to prefer them if he's using it right now. Yeah, I mean, it's really a matter of personal preference. I'm in the same boat as you. I don't like the iron sights on the M8. Um, but if it works for him, why not? It saves him a slot that he can use for an extra attack, or he can use it for an extra perk, and that extra slot can really come in handy. Um, now, you're going to see him get taken out, unfortunately, so he's going to go back in the hard point. But I'm honestly a little surprised that he's jumping in the hard point with his Emmy. Um, usually, the players, the OBJs that are in the hard point are going to be rocking an SMG, maybe a shotgun, but an AR not so much, especially the Emmy. So, hopefully we can see him get some kills, but... It's not seemed to be working out too well for him, you know. I'm actually yeah. on board with Raider. Let's see what he's doing. Is he's actually in the hard point as we were discussing that. It does get taken out there straight away. He was on a three kill streak, unfortunately, for him. But they've got this really nice spawn still for this next kitchen hard point. And they're gonna have two people in the hard point. One in that money room as well. Great setup by them. They've also got that anchor player. Raider picking up a kill there. Took him a while, manages to get the headshot, but does get taken out. And Hatred have still got three people in the hard point. I've actually got some bad game lag right now. So I'm trying to keep up with everything, <laughs> but Hatred have got to make sure they, you know, they keep these spawns and get control of it because if they get spawned out here it's going to be you know quite difficult for them uh, to push it especially with the amount of time left but Miyagi going big again on a three kill streak two members of the hatred lineup on a on the hard point at the second and I think they played this really well somebody was trying to push into anchor there but Miyagi holding it down well and he's also picked up that hellstorm missile this is a really close game something that we like to see and it looks like that silent team are already starting to make that rotation pretty much for the next hard point and I think that's the right move but you know hatred have managed to pick up virtually the full 60 seconds on this uh, kitchen hard point so I definitely think that was good plays by them yeah they did a really good job of picking up on the player that was spawning uh, or that was trying to flank around through basketball to get those spawns. And unfortunately he got taken out before he could push in the kitchen. Um, and now you're going to see the Hatred squad, they're actually spawning back in jungle now. So unfortunately they're getting those spawns too late. Uh, luckily they've been able to pick up some spawns. Um, sorry, not the Hatred squad, the Silent squad. Oh my goodness, my GPL is missing yet. <laughs> uh, Silent squad was spawning over on ringside. So it was better than the jungle spawns, but they really need to start taking control of this. Um, Pluto's on a two kill streak here, so let's see if he can do anything with the AN. He gets taken out in gym, unfortunately. You're gonna see him again. He's spawning ring, so it's again like it's it's better that they're spawning ring than jungle, but it's not ideal. Um, at this point, they really should start pulling back and rotating to the next hard point because there's only 20 seconds left, and it's really not worth it to break it because the hatred squad is already going to be rotating. Um, yeah. You're gonna see. Nope. Sorry, you go ahead. Oh yeah. So it looks like they've already. Yeah, it looks like the silent squad is already set up for basketball, actually. Um, it looks like Crump sitting in Cubby. Let's see if Crump can get this kill here. No, Crump gets taken out, unfortunately. So you're going to see the Hatred Squad push in. Callie's on a two kill streak. Let's see if he can get anything done. He's rocking that MSMC still. So I'd like to see him get in that hard point. Again, rack up some of his points. Interesting. I think he's rocking overkill, or he's just picked up someone's M8. But I don't really like the fact that he's pulled up that M8 again. Um, he gets one kill in there, so at least it's something that he has taken out again. So. Magic is on a two kill streak and he's just going to sit on top of this hard point, try and pick people off. And the silent squad is just, they can't break this hard point. They had a good 50 second lead um, after that, going into that garage one, and now the hatred squad is taking over control again. Yeah, they're getting those really nice spawns. I'm still on board with Magic at the second. Uh, he actually manages to push in here, but does get taken out. Miyagi going big there and taking control of it. And they need to hold this for the last 10 seconds. It is contested at the second as we see Hatred take control of this. They've just broken that two, uh, yeah, 200 mark with only 50 seconds left on the clock. Still a close game, and it is going to go down to this middle hard point right now. Always one that's interesting to see, um, but it's going to be very difficult. And, you know, Silent need to come in absolutely huge here and get a lot of kills as we see the Hatred lineup pick up three kills in a row there. Hatred 
streak. Trid Miyagi on a four kill streak. Kali on a three kill streak. And I do believe now that's it. It is impossible for this silent lineup to come back. And we called it. We got it right. <laughs> you know, luckily we managed to call it well there. It looks like Hatred are going to take this first game 1-0 in this best of nine series. Great play by all of them. And, you know, I do think, I think the problem for me was some of those rotations from the, uh, from the silent lineup. They had some, you know, good time there on that back basketball hard point, as we pointed out. But apart from that, I don't think the rotations were too great from them. And also, you know, Hatred, they were really good when they made those attacking pushes into the hard point. They may have not always got round to uh, hard points first, but um, when they, when they you know, managed to push in, they did it incredibly successfully, made pushes at the right time from the right entrances. And there we go, Miyagi, our man, picking up the final kill cam here, using this death machine, something that oh, I love to see being so used a lot. Dirty. Oh, I love that thing. It's amazing. But there we go. Final score was about, yeah, 240 to 177. Raider going 31 and 28. But Miag and the Cali dropping a 44 bomb with 16 defense as well. Everybody pretty much going positive apart from torture. But